What's up guys, it's me William aka Elvish Miner, and I am here not in Minecraft today as you can see here on my screen uh, and I will get to that in just a moment but there are a few things I want to talk about real quick because you're probably noticing that I have better quality audio on my video. It may not be too noticeable but it is noticeable to me because I have a slight ear for this sort of stuff but uh, I'm excited to use this, I got a new mic. Uh, it is the Rode Podcaster, I'll be making a behind the scenes video on this. So that is probably the biggest update. I also got a new way to mount it, so it'll all be used to be in my face like this, and I won't be backing away from it like this. Hey guys. So, yeah, and then I also got a pop filter, so you won't hear me breathing into it quite as much, so you're welcome about that. Uh, and I will be getting a shock mount so you don't hear that, or that anymore, so, um, look forward to that. And, uh, you're probably wondering what this is scrolling around in the background behind me. This is a game called Gary's Mod, and it's kind of like a Minecraft, uh, except it's taken to the max. It's a sandbox game where basically it has these weird, crazy physics, and you have unlimited resources, and you could do basically whatever you want in it. There's no real plot or motive in the, th in the game. So, yeah, I thought I would have a lot of fun with this game, so I might as well jump right into it here. Let me start a new game, and I'm going to be doing sandbox here on that map the mg construct so there you go let me load the world it always takes a little while to load on the first time but uh yeah i thought this would be interesting to do <coughs> sorry about that also this mic has a very uh short range of working it works within about six inches so, uh, if I back away from it, you will really hear it, but also I will not be picking up quite as much background noise of people walking around behind me, so you're welcome for that as well, guys. Uh, so yeah, so here we are. This is Gary's Mod. Um, I thought you guys would like this, uh, because I have been enjoying it. Um, so I might as well get right into it. Now, what I'm gonna be doing in this owl... I hope that is not too loud for you guys. Let me turn my in-ear volume down a little bit. Whoop. Yeah, my desk is full of packaging and whatnot from the mic and the arm and the pop filter and all that. So, sorry about that. It's a bit of a wreck, but it should not prohibit this in any way. Anyways, I have come up with a list of challenges for myself. I do not have them written down yet, but I shall do that. Uh, but basically... Uh, I want to create an aquatic car, so a car that can easily drive around on land and is actually quite maneuverable on land, but also can just go straight into the water, even from a drop, and uh, still be fine in the water. So that is why I chose this world, because it has the big lake in front of it. So I might as well get right into this, because I really want to. So you hit Q, and you want to hold that down for your invent invent inventory. That is what I have it set to. I don't know what it's default set to. It may be that, but I don't know. Alrighty, so first I want to grab a vehicle. Now you would think this would be pretty easy because they have stuff like this, the uh, hovercraft things. Except if you're not familiar with Gary mods, Gary's mod, this is what they do since they're old and broken down. Yeah, they uh, they kind of do that. So I thought that it would be. Whoop, where's my V key? There it is. Uh, I thought it would be fitting not to use that. So. Let me grab something else, and you have, like, the dinghies here, which actually do float. Once they come back up. See, there you go. Uh, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, see, they float. And they work sort of good. You could strap a thruster to them and have a little fun. But uh, I want to make a truly aquatic car, which means a car that has been adapted to be aquatic. Now, I could use... Maybe, nah, I won't use that, that's weird. What's looking intact? That doesn't look too bad. Let me see if I could find something better. You got like a little thing over here. I couldn't sit on that too well though. Got a train, that would be impressive. But uh, yeah, I want something with like a hull design. What is this? Oh, hey, look at that. That'll sink like a rock. Yeah, that is heavy right there. Okay, um, I want to use that though, so let me go over here, grab my remover tool, get rid of that. Um, now, what is the first step that we need for an aquatic car? I want to put all the stuff that we want on it, like steering and wheels and all that on it first, and then I want to uh, 
add the buoyancy so we can get that right so we don't have to add more later. So, let me see here. We want wheels. What wheels do I have selected? Those are decent wheels. Hey, I might use those. Let me get this up in the air here so we can take a look at it. I still have the messages turned on. I forgot to turn those off, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. Whoop, let me grab that. Um, ping. Ping. And ping. Ping. Okay, now half of these are going in the wrong direction. Whoop. So there and there. Alrighty, so. Whoop. I've not quite learned this mod, so it's hard for me because I'm not looking at my keyboard. Good, that's reasonably quick. And it has good stopping and starting traction. Good, I like. Me likey. Alrighty, so we also need to add steering to it. So that's where these thrusters come in, and you have many different designs. But the smallest you can get is this one right here, so I'm going to be using that one. And you don't need the force to actually be that much. I'm going to probably say about 300. And I don't know, just to look cool, I'm going to say no effects on it. Actually, I'm going to do dropship because I've never heard of that one. And magic. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So how I always put it is like this right up here on the front. So you got a good steering lever on it. And oh, wait, 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 wait. nope. Let's get rid of that. So, let me think about this. So, if we have one like that. Whoops, hang on, guys. Sorry about that. That was an alarm on my phone. So, we, if we have one like that, and we go that way. So, it's... Why am I having so much trouble thinking about it? Okay, so that's on the wrong side. Here, I, I don't like the magic. Let me... Hmm. I think I'll do that. And steam. Let's see what that looks like. So, just like that. Ooh, fire. I think that's the default one, but I like that one. Uh, and then you want to go in here and actually switch your things here. And I'm purposely making these so they do not toggle, so uh, I can control this a little bit easier with my arrow keys just driving around. So now, if I press the right button, it'll probably try to push it to the right. And same with the left. And forward, you got those. One of those does not look balanced, but I don't care. Uh, so, in all uh, theory, this right here, let me actually grab this. Boom, like that. And there you go. Press that, and we are now in that. So this thing should have pretty reasonably handling. Reasonable, sorry, not reasonably. Um, I wonder if we could go upstairs. Oh, that's a no. I think I might have gotten it stuck. Ah, there we go. Alrighty. Yeah, if I remember right, the tank is actually pretty um, stable once you get some wheels on it. But uh, yeah, if I wanted to, I could add boosters to the back so I can make this thing go really fast, just in a straight line all of a sudden. But I don't think I will. Yeah, you see why I add the uh, camera on here so I could just control it like this so I don't have to fly my character around above it as well. It works good. Good. I'm actually quite pleased with this thing. But the only problem is if I drive it off into the water, it's just dead in the water. Like this. Plink. Okay. So, let me go grab this and let's get it out of there before it rusts. Oh wait, it's already rusted. And drop. Good. I am actually pleased with that.